Chapter 416, The Comeback Two class C's immediately sprang towards Lu Xu while the remaining three unleashed all their abilities in an attempt to hinder Lu Xu's escape. One of them stood still and pressed his palms against the floor. Instantly a six-meter-tall earth wall erected in front of Lu Xu. Magnificent. Meanwhile, a giant fireball was cast from another person's hand. The ball suddenly transformed into a monstrous serpent in the air, hurling itself towards Lu Xu with its tongue shooting out. All individual practitioners were dumbstruck. Patterns were clearly visible on the fiery anaconda scales even from afar, as though it was actually a living creature. But soon, the class C's came to a stop. Gazing at Lu Xu's rapidly receding figure, one of them gasped in shock. Is he a freaking horse? There was a human-like hole on the earth wall left by Lu Xu's tough body. He actually ran through it without any hesitation. In the meantime, the fiery serpent had crashed to the floor without even catching his wind. He was freaking fast. From Stanton Hope's distress, plus 999. From Staples Horace's distress, plus 999. From. The class C's looked at one another helplessly. What now? They would be severely punished if their superiors found out that they had lost so many broken magical weapons, since they were unable to get them back. The thing was, Lu Xu's speed and decisiveness had been completely unexpected. Now with so many witnesses, it was impossible to keep the cat inside the bag. They could not even trust their subordinates, let alone their practitioner slaves. Besides, they knew better than to slaughter all their captives. Honestly, they would have done so if there were fewer people as nobody would find out anyway. But there were simply too many. It would cause them great trouble if any of them managed to escape. They were not brave enough to confront Li Xieni. Now, they all regretted the decision of keeping so many people as their slaves. Just report it as it is. Note down that guy's traits so that we can post him up on the Darkness Kingdom and hunt him down. Okay. Settled. But then another problem popped up. What traits did he have? His face was a blur, just that he looked young. There was nothing special about his clothings too. Moreover, he had escaped before revealing any of his abilities. Traits, the leader pondered. Suddenly that or thank you across his mind. He's a wretch. However, how to hunt someone down with only that line of description? Forget it. Hurry up and dig the remaining weapons out. Then, converge with the officer of affairs as soon as possible. Let's pray that there are enough of them underground so as to lighten our punishment, a calm voice suggested. The officer of affairs was referring to their class B leader, who was in charge of foreign affairs of the organization named Pledge. Put it in simpler terms, he was responsible for fights. Now, all the practitioner slaves obeyed and carried on their work. None of them were willing to provoke their bosses when they were in a bad mood. As practitioners and metahumans with extraordinary abilities, who would expect that they ended up playing with mud in the remains? Soon, a few hours had passed and dawn almost broke. Though sleepy, the class C's had to concentrate in these last few minutes, having seen that the number of broken weapons excavated had dropped gradually. At this moment, a ray of golden light shone from afar. On second thoughts, it must not be the morning sun. There was no sun in the remains. Furthermore, the golden glow was moving as if it was a living thing. What was going on? All class C's immediately became alert. In fact, Lu Xu did not run far. It was not because he had full confidence in his capabilities though, as he had calculated his chances at defeating five of them at once. In any case, their abilities were not even clear at the moment. Currently, he could easily defeat two class C's and might be able to win when pitted against three. But four? Better not. No matter how many tricks he had, a well-coordinated team was still very strong. Besides, his defense had not reached the invincible stage. 
The truth was, he did not wish those red uniform practitioners to take all the remaining magical weapons away. As he threw his current stocks to the divine water secretly, a bold idea was forming in his mind. But these broken weapons had to be good enough in the first place. Slowly but steadily, the weapons were consumed by the water. Although each piece had little energy to offer, there were so many of them. In fact, Lu Xu had made an underestimate earlier. The total number of pieces were as many as 361. At dawn, the water was as big as two bathtubs. Until then, it was enough to cover Lu Xu's entire body like a giant golden shield. He was unbeatable. It was time to get back his remaining weapons. Lu Xu rose and marched towards where he had come from. He wanted to give fighting off five class C's at the same time a try. After all, he could easily escape alive if he could not win. Suddenly, Lu Xu felt it was an exceptionally wise choice to spare every effort in the cultivation of his divine water. When he made his appearance, those experts' eyes were attracted to the glow. But they remained motionless as they examined what it was. After he drew close, everyone was studying carefully his divine water armor, which provided perfect concealment for his celestial cloak inside. The experts were shocked to distinguish the figure after Lu Xu walked closer. But his spirit qi armor seemed rather unique. They had witnessed powerful and unorthodox spirit qi armor like one with thunderbolts from northern Europe. That piece would inflict harm on anybody within a certain range. There were comparatively sturdy ones too, like the legendary Class B expert Anthony's treasure, his concentrated sandy armor immune to any attacks. But never had they seen one as thick and solid as this. Bro, how scared are you? Don't you feel uncomfortable wrapping yourself up like a dumpling? <laughs> Not at all. An individual practitioner was dumbfounded upon the sight of Lu Xu's new look. Are you a Pikachu? Lu Xu. Indeed, he looked like a mascot in some outlandish outfit. But practicality was always more useful than visual appeal. Chapter 417, RMB Player Now, Lu Xu's confidence had skyrocketed together with the surge in his fighting capacity. Do you know the worth of his divine water? Not to mention the previous times, for this time alone, he had invested in 361 pieces of broken weapons, equivalent to three magical stones each, which was 360,000 yuan. In that case, it was more than 100 million at the very least. Lu Xu almost fainted on the spot. He had actually put in so much money? Lu Xu found it hard to believe. What the hell had he done? Although he could not exchange it for real cash, the sheer amount of money already gave him chills. Despite being equipped with magical weapons distributed by their own organization, those class C's in front of Lu Xu could never be compared to him. After all, he had spent more than a hundred million yuan on his. If these class C's were considered as VIP level 6 players, they could casually give a good thrashing to those individual practitioners who had never topped up in the game. However, Lu Xu was a super player of VIP level 15 now. That was right. Lu Xu was an RMB player who fought using hard money. In addition, the Divine Water was a treasure by itself. Regardless, you would obtain different results when you spent the same amount of money on level 5 gear and a max level artifact. Sometimes boys would question girls' obsession with cosmetics. Would it guarantee their beauty? Was the money really worth the effect? <laughs> what was your stand then? It was the same as those online video game players. You must be crazy to claim that you could outrun those who had put in money. Without further ado, Lu Xu darted towards a Class C clumsily. The Class C raised his hand again to summon another fiery anaconda, but the serpent was distinguished the second it made contact with the water. Naturally, water and fire conquer each other. Coupled with the fact that the divine water was as powerful as a sacred artifact, how could it be possibly breached by a fiery serpent? Stunned, the Class C expert was at a loss of what to do. It was his first time to encounter an opponent this unreasonable. 
a Class B expert would certainly be able to leverage on his rudimentary understanding of the rules of heaven and earth, to force through Lu Xu's divine water, perhaps even diminish its power. By then, every bit could be translated to a loss of millions of yuan. Sadly, though, none of them was a Class B. The fire-type Class C metahuman immediately retreated to the back for cover. Understandably, the master had to be situated at the back to provide support. Meanwhile, two Class Cs thrust their swords towards Lu Xu. Their action was so coordinated, it was as if they were twins. Yet, just ten centimeters into the divine water, large resistance was felt by the swords. Their blades were quickly corroded away, limiting the amount of spirit qi that could be infused. In the past, Lu Xu would reconsider before going head-on against weapons, as the thickness of his divine water armor could not guarantee him remaining unharmed. But now, it was a different situation. His long-standing jealousy for Li Yixiao's 3HS abilities, high HP, high defense abilities, and high ATK, stemmed from his weaker capabilities. Now, however, he could also be counted as a 3HS warrior of his rank. Without a choice, the two class Cs drew back their swords. Unexpectedly, though, two pools of divine water were detached from the main body together with the swords as well. Currently, Lu Xu had no issues at all with separating out some water in order to destroy the two magical weapons. Meanwhile, earth walls suddenly rose from all directions under the earth-type metahuman's control, falling in towards Lu Xu so as to trap him inside while the rest could escape. In the next instant, nonetheless, Lu Xu made use of his sheer strength to withstand the weight of the walls. It seemed that he had little concern about his own safety. At that very moment, Lu Xu was suddenly starting to resonate with Li Yixiao. To Li Yixiao, he would live unless there were Class A's, and to Lu Xu, he would not die so long as there was no interference from Class B's. In fact, even Class B's would have a headache killing him. It would not be that easy. In this instance, his mindset was totally different. Just when the five Class C's were seized by shock, unsure about whether to advance or retreat, they witnessed a sudden change in the plot. Put down. I said, put down all my magical weapons. Do you hear me? Lu Xu almost screeched at an individual practitioner. Some of them with relatively strong abilities were trying to escape with a few pieces of weapons amidst the commotion. But never had they expected that Lu Xu would go the extra mile to stop them. They put back the weapons again after all pairs of eyes were directed at them. <laughs> That's awkward. All of them were dumbstruck. Aren't you having a good fight? How do you have the spare energy and time to care about us? Can you please be more focused and professional? The Class C's certainly had not seen it coming either. So what, are we supposed to resume? From Stanton Hope's Distress, plus 999. From Staples Horace's Distress, plus 999. From. Having confirmed that all the weapons were safe, Lu Xu turned back. Come, let's continue. The leader voiced his uncertainty, you are the one who ran away just now, aren't you? Although his face was still obscured, he was equally contemptible. All of a sudden, Lu Xu came to blows again without any prior notice. Not wielding his flying daggers nor his spears, he was actually fighting with his pure strength. He was interested in testing the limit of his defense. But this time, his opponents decided otherwise. After ingesting something, there was a sudden surge in the Earth-type Metahuman's energy waves. In a split second, he plunged into the ground with four other Class CS in his arms. Lu Xu leaped to the site where they had disappeared with a murderous look on his face. Then, he punched hard into the earth, sweeping up a blanket of soil like the aftermath of a bomb attack. As if stars could be shaken off the sky with such strength. After the dirt had scattered, a Class C was found dead in the depths of the cavity. The other four were nowhere to be found. The sight made the individual practitioner's flesh creep. Never had they expected that the person would be punched to death underground. Was he really a Class C? 
or Class B. The remaining four had split up to run for their lives. Judging from Lu Xu's speed, they would be caught up to in five minutes. The individual practitioners looked at one another, wondering if they could leave now. In fact, they were happy for the death of that British practitioner. In any case, they no longer had to be scavengers. However, Lu Xu turned towards them and said with a tinge of astonishment in his voice, Continue. Why stop? Come on. Given your very best and let's build our socialist society fast, well and effectively. Maybe you can't understand it but I mean, hurry up and quickly dig out my precious weapons. The rest. From Francisco Paulino Hermenegildo Tiagelo's Distress, plus 199. Lu Xu was shocked by the new update. What kind of name was that? Chapter 418, Fists Are the Truth. Crossing his knees on a giant rock, Lu Xu fed the newly excavated magical weapons to his divine water as he calculated his gains in the fight earlier. Indeed, the water proved to be considerably useful. In the defense against elemental attacks, most people would rely on their own armor. Thus, with the divine water as his shield, elemental attacks of class C or below could exert negligible harm on himself. Besides, from the angle of physical attacks with magical weapons, the double-layer protection of divine water and celestial cloak could undoubtedly keep him safe. Besides, its destructiveness could probably deter his opponents from further attempts. Yet, more importantly, the greatest reward was, in addition to the countless broken weapons, the group of individual practitioners in front of him. None of them dared to risk his life in an attempt to escape having witnessed Lu Xu's power. Even one of the class C's were punched to death underground. Numerous lines of distress points were registered as they continued with their scavenger job. Yes, an entire screen of distress points. Sadly, though, Lu Xu had missed the peak of their distress points. He would have made an incredibly fruitful harvest had he captured them one by one. Now that their senses were numb, their contribution of distress points was also as low as 10 plus. Even so, the generation of entries was frequent and continuous. Lu Xu could see that the fourth star was already within his reach. A person stood up. It's been a long while since the last time we found a broken weapon. Thus, I think we have finished our work. Can we leave now? It was already daybreak, and the hole was over 20 meters in depth. Honestly, Lu Xu was impressed with their high productivity. Lu Xu smacked his lips. Go deeper. I have a feeling that there are more down there. From Trinidad Andrews Distress, plus 199. No more. Really, the man shouted at the top of his lungs from the bottom of the pit. Lu Xu raised his brows threateningly. Are you questioning my instincts? From Trinidad Andrews Distress, plus 299. The individual practitioners suddenly realized that this fellow was far harder to deal with than those guys from the pledge. At the very least, they had the intention to let them leave. But the new man seemed to be taking pleasure from their misery. What the heck? Nothing had been found since as early as half an hour earlier, but that fellow insisted that they continue. Thus, they had no other way but to dig another five meters. When could they finally reach the end? A group of devils were gone and here came the devil incarnate. Could you believe it? Lu Xu almost jumped in joy at the large influx of distress points. Yes. The fourth star was about to be lit. Lu Xu lectured them in all sincerity, in order to excel in cultivation, you have to be patient and composed. Withstand the loneliness and do not fret. From Trinidad Andrews Distress, plus 299. From. The individual practitioners hesitated before they protested. But there really is nothing more. They were on the brink of frustration. Why couldn't you just let us go? Displeased, Lu Xu sighed. Now, I am sitting here while you have to dig dirt down there. Do you know why? No one answered. Right, why? Because you can't defeat me. 
From Trinidad Andrews Distress, plus 666. From Can't you just say you will beat us up if we don't do work? Save the words, please. We will do as told, deal? Freak. Lu Xu's eyes brightened at the shining fourth star. Now, not only had his divine water gained significant power, even the fourth star in his third nebula had been lit. If he continued staying here with this bunch, it would be worth it to forego the relic. Besides, he might run into dangers if he went after the relic now. But it was totally safe here. He must up his game so as to secure more relics in the future. In his eyes, those individual practitioners were like his bright future. Suddenly, he felt a gust of energy waves from the distant sky. There was someone flying in the air. Besides Li Xianyi, who else could fly in the remains? Meanwhile, Li Xianyi had spotted Lu Xu too. Then, he suddenly swerved back in Lu Xu's direction. The individual practitioners had recognized the approaching figure as well. Indeed, who else could it be? They had finally seen a glint of hope. The Golden Foundation was known for protecting unaffiliated practitioners. Upon his landing, more than hundreds of practitioners started whining in the pit, Mr. Lee, we were captured by the pledge to work as free labor. Then, this man fought them off and continued forcing us to dig. <laughs> Just wait for your punishment. In their fantasy, Li Xiani would take down the devil incarnate with his flying dagger, comfort them well and even distribute the remaining broken weapons to them. But never had they expected what truly happened next. Li Xiani, the guardian of justice only cast a brief look at them before turning to Lu Xu. What's going on? What's in there? More than 500 pieces of broken magical weapons. Just nice that's what I need. Lu Xu was being honest too, since the old folk was aware of his possession of the divine water. In spite of the practitioner's expectant stares, Li Xianyi replied casually, carry on then. No matter whether they could understand Chinese, all of them had noticed Li Xianyi's exceptional mildness towards the devil head, as though he was talking to his own grandson. Certainly, he was not from the Golden Foundation, whose members would identify themselves with their badges. Then who on earth was he to earn Li Xianyi's favor? What the hell? What kind of monster was he? From Li Xianyi's point of view, there was no reason to stop there if the weapons excavated were of use to Lu Xu. In any case, he had full confidence of Lu Xu's character and trusted that he would not kill unless necessary. However, he still underestimated Lu Xu. In fact, they had unearthed all the weapons and now they were simply digging out dirt. Desperation befell the practitioners. All their fantasies earlier had perished. Carry on then. Even the Golden Foundation had given up on justice, the cultivation realm was doomed. Chapter 419, Awful Luck The Golden Foundation had always been deemed as the guardians of justice, and its members the perfect beings. But to, er, is human. What people did not know was Ji Wei's arrogance and Li Xianyi's overemphasis on his reputation, which had one time unintentionally got his disciples into trouble. As a matter of fact, no one was flawless, but the Golden Foundation would not alter its mission in the face of humanity's imperfections. Did the Savior not dig his nose? At least Lu Xu believed so. Lu Xu lowered his voice and asked, Grandpa, did you see Xiaoyu? Li Xianyi shook his head. This remain is really too big. I have not covered the entire space even by air. Moreover, we may have missed each other since she's constantly on the move. But don't worry. She's always a lucky girl and she will definitely be fine. All right, Lu Xu thought, no one else could defeat Lu Xiaoyu alone besides the old man himself. Actually, he was not worried. He simply missed her. He had wanted to filter out Xiaoyu's distress points from the many entries, but now, how could he find it amidst countless lines from the individual practitioners? Have you seen Li Xiao? The old man suddenly asked. Lu Xu was surprised. Nope. Why are you looking for him? Li Xianyi's brows were closely knitted together. 
It's reported that he's causing everyone trouble at the moment with over a thousand gargoyles. Have you really not seen him yet? Obviously, he wanted to beat Li Yixiao up. Lu Xu did him a favor and insisted that he had never met Li Yixiao ever since. Meanwhile, Lu Xu felt sorry for Li Yixiao, as the old man had found another reason to give him a bad thrashing. Although they might not be able to run into each other here, they would after they got out. No, really, Lu Xu immediately shook his head. We are not of the same kind. I've been supervising the excavation since last night. An unaffiliated practitioner suddenly grumbled in Spanish from below, right. Even though there's nothing left. Able to understand Spanish, Li Xianyi shot Lu Xu a confused look. In Li Xianyi's understanding, Lu Xu would never do anything unprofitable. Why then? What's down there? Li Xianyi asked. Lu Xu hesitated for a second and re, a not much at all. There are only broken magical weapons. Yet, at this instant, the bottom of the pit suddenly subsided into a hollow of over two meters in diameter. All those present were stunned. What the heck? The bolder ones were already lying on their stomach at the edge of the hole and looking inside, while others had retreated back to the surface. They cast Lu Xu a startled look, was he telling the truth when he claimed that there was more underneath? Li Xianyi also looked at Lu Xu in bewilderment, did he not just say there was nothing more except for weapons? Lu Xu. This was hard to explain. He really had no bloody idea that there was something down there. He was simply gaining distress points, okay. Anyway, though, it was a good thing to get something out. After a long while, the old man finally chose to believe Lu Xu's explanation that it was a mere misunderstanding although very reluctantly. How about I go down first? Lu Xu asked Li Xianyi carefully, planning to pocket any treasures before others. Li Xianyi instantly saw through it, too rash. Rest assured, the things inside are all yours since it's you who found them. He would have taken it all if it was not Lu Xu. In fact, he had long since been treating the young man as his grandson and the stronger Lu Xu and Xiaoyu got the happier he was. It was a connection that transcended personal interest. Having lived for almost a century, Li Xianyi's friends, parents and teachers had left him one by one. Thus, family had become an extremely precious and valuable asset to him. As for the individual practitioners, their initial shock had turned into joy, as any strange happenings in the remains could be related to unimaginable wealth. Soon, though, fear had crept in. Their chances of survival were considerably slim in the unknown situation down there. What if Lu Xu decided to send them down first? The remains were full of dangers. If they were sent to scout ahead, not only would they be unable to secure their fruits of labor, they might even lose their lives inside. At this moment, however, Lu Xu suddenly spoke, Come up here, everyone. I'm afraid you are not suitable to venture any further. Despite his interest in distress points, Lu Xu would never bet on so many innocent lives for an uncertain cause. Li Xianyi said calmly, you can either wait here or leave as you wish. Lu Xu felt sorry. Just let them leave like this? Actually they could stay and dig other areas. As a matter of fact, the entire instance itself was odd. With an abundance of broken magical weapons and human skeletons buried here, how could it be an ordinary place? However, the discovery of the hollow was a pure coincidence. Li Xianyi was the first to enter the hole, in which there was a stone staircase leading to unknown places in the depth. The old man frowned at the revelation. No wonder the remains were so strange that there was nothing besides low-level creatures like gargoyles and stretches of black stones and the relic seemed nowhere to be found. The truth lay underground. In fact, in addition to tangible threats, there was another one that was more obscure, what if the relic could never be found? In that instance, even Class A's might perish in this desolate place. Everyone would starve to death, as no one was stocked with enough food able to sustain a lifetime. Furthermore, even if there were such people, so what? 
they had entered the remains so as to become stronger in the future and to enjoy the world of affluence outside. What could Lu Xu do even if he consumed all the gargoyles here throughout his entire life? Thus, no one would be willing to die a natural death here, and the mere thought of failing to secure the relic was nightmarish. Li Xiani shot Lu Xu a glimpse, suspecting that he might have found the correct path to the relic by chance. What awful luck! Chapter 420 Li Xiani's Confidence The staircase was as dark as the abyss. As Li Xiani descended, he flipped his hand to produce a torchlight. Lu Xu was stunned for a long while. Are you so down to earth, Grandpa? Don't you have any advanced lighting devices? By right, the standard of one's possessions should be aligned to his status and identity. Lu Xu had expected the same for Li Xiani. However, this class a pro apparently did not share the same view as Lu Xu. Li Xiani glanced at him. Keep it simple, understood? We don't need to pay so much attention to insignificant details on the journey of cultivation. From Li Xiani's distress, plus 199. Lu Xu almost laughed out loud. Please, your distress points had already given you away. Just admit that you do not have any lighting tools. Then, he took out a mirror from his pocket. The item had almost been forgotten in his seal of lands, as its only functions were lighting and blinding other people's eyes. Li Xiani was confused. But in the next second, he almost thought he had seen the sun. Luckily, Lu Xu had not pointed the mirror directly at the old man. A ray of golden light shot out from the mirror, immediately illuminating the entire underground space. Silent, Li Xiani packed up his torchlight. From Li Xiani's distress, plus 199. Why does this kid have so many odd objects? It was extremely spacious, quiet and as magnificent as an underworld palace. Downstairs, there was erected an enormous altar, which was shrouded in an air of ancient mystery. There were peculiar symbols and lines covering as large as a hundred meters square on the altar, the sight of which could make anyone's flesh creep. Upon closer examination, the base of the altar was actually built by human skulls. Could it be the bloody symbols were painted with human blood as well? Li Xianyi's white jade flying dagger was already in the air, ready to attack any time. In the center of the altar stood a scarlet gargoyle, whose wings were joined together, shielding its face and body. Whether it was dead or in a heavy slumber, it was hard to tell. Around the altar situated twelve black gargoyles, upright in the same pose guarding the scarlet one in the center. In the proximity of each ordinary gargoyle there was a trident erected from the floor. At this moment, Lu Xu noticed incessant transmission of spirit qi to the scarlet gargoyle from the symbols around. Shocked and confused, Lu Xu wondered why the altar, built on human blood and skulls, served to nurture the monster in the center via spirit qi. However, Lu Xu was unable to detect the gargoyle's energy waves at present. Same as all the other gargoyles, they were tantamount to the dead before they were awakened. Normally, people would have to calculate their chances of survival in this instance. Unlike them, Lu Xu subconsciously shifted his focus to the gargoyles and their tridents. The tridents must be magical weapons. Moreover, the Scarlet Gargoyle could probably provide a great deal of energy to the Divine Water. All of a sudden, the central gargoyle started moving. It reared its sinister head and faced Lu Xu and Li Xianyi, while its body remained unmoved. Even so, it was frightening enough. The Scarlet Gargoyle raised its head slowly, its eyes cold as ice. Then, the little sun in Lu Xu's hands shone into its eyes. Unexpectedly, it was temporarily blinded by the strong light. With Lu Xu as witness, it quickly shielded its eyes with its wings. From Inferno Blood Devil's Distress, plus 399. Lu Xu was pleased at once. Ha! <laughs> it was an intelligent being. Not only so, it should be of rather high level. Back then, Little Fury had taken a number of refresher fruits before it could generate distress points of more than one. He was genuinely not afraid. Now he could sense, 
after its awakening, the devil's mana was as boundless as the sea. A true class B. In the past, Lu Shu would run away without hesitation. But this time, he did not, as he had backing. Unlike Li Xiao's backing who would even beat himself, in Li Xianyi's presence, even Inferno Blood Devil would not dare to cause any trouble. Inferno Blood Devil took a long while to regain its vision. Then, it was drawn to Lu Xu again, its features savage. Humans were its food. Yet, at this very instant, a giant pool of divine water flowed down along the staircase, capturing a black gargoyle before the face of Inferno Blood Devil, together with its trident. The gargoyle inside immediately woke up in shock, and started struggling violently in the golden glow. But the divine water was inescapable no matter how hard it tried. Inferno Blood Devil took two seconds to understand that this human had apprehended its minion, completely ignoring its presence. Bellowing, the devil soared into the sky with a slight flap of its wings. Strength was swelling up its body as it itched to skin that human alive. The remaining eleven gargoyles suddenly came to life all at once, their brawny claws were already gripping onto their tridents. Yet, in the next instant, Inferno Blood Devil swerved back to the altar, obediently sat still as it watched the old man leap down with his white jade flying dagger. It was afraid. But other gargoyles were not that smart. They hurled themselves towards Li Xianyi one after the other, while Lu Xu was excited at his opportunity of observing Class A's combat up close. With a sharp noise, the white jade dagger twitched and vanished. Then, a transparent circle rippled outwards from the original position of the dagger. It was a sign of breaking through the sound barrier. Before Lu Xu could see the dagger, all the ordinary gargoyles suddenly started falling apart. Lu Xu was dumbfounded, was that the true strength of a Class A expert? Then, he immediately felt sorry for the loss of eleven gargoyles. Luckily, though, the eleven tridents were still there. Lu Xu leaped off the stairs. He was able to withstand the impact of jumping down from hundreds of meters and remained unharmed. Meanwhile, Inferno Blood Devil was being a good being and stood still on the altar, at a loss at what to do. With intelligence, it had immediately caught the smell of a Class A beside the human that had taken captive of its minion. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty And we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens